In this video, I'm going to be starting, committing to, and following through with the longest fitness journey I've ever been on. Every time I do one of these videos, it's usually 30 days and I stop working out after the 30 days because for some reason, I can only be held accountable as long as I'm making a video. So this video is going to be as long as I possibly need it to be for me to get where I'm in a habit. Basically, it's time to make the gym or like fitness outside my second home. And my first home really needs to be like the kitchen because that's the biggest issue. And I really don't care how much I weigh. It's more about how I feel and look. I'm not going to set any date because every time I set some random date like my birthday, summer, this, that, or the other, I disappoint myself instead of just making it like a big lifestyle change and committing to just being a healthier person. Is that a muscle? This is my fourth week of consistently working out, but I'm only on week one of actually counting my calories. Ooh, I could see his arm workout. I actually, okay, you can't see the sliding, I swear. All right, just got done with that workout. 47 minutes going. Let's go. Wait. I actually feel like I look stronger. I don't know. Do I have abs yet? Probably not. Comment down below if you also are somehow just incapable of drinking water and you have to do this to drink water. So this video is kind of just a results video of the first month and talking about my progress and kind of what I've been doing to get my results. And my results aren't crazy, I'll show them at the end, but oh my gosh, do I feel so different. Like this has literally changed my life. I love going to the gym. I go for like an hour every day, six days a week, and I actually love it. So basically what we have been doing is a three-day split. I go with my bestie, Charlie, and first day we're going to do like shoulders, chest, triceps, and then the next day we'll do like back and biceps, and then we do a leg day. We're actually about to switch to where we have two leg days and one's more like quads and one is more like booty. It's a really fun split, and then I've been focusing on counting my calories because, you know, the only way way to lose weight is calories in versus calories out and just upping my weight like my goal is honestly at this point to just get really strong and feel good and I don't like particularly care how I look like yes I want to look good I want to have a bigger butt smaller waist but at the same time I want to be strong and feel amazing and feel empowered and have energy and like that's the results that I've gotten in this past month been trying to up my weight and everything and I've already been able to do a lot more than I used to like let me show you guys this video of me doing a push-up like are you kidding me at the beginning of this 30 days I could not do a push-up and now I can do these kind of push-ups and I can only do like three to five but I'm so proud of myself so it's officially been a month of me working out actually over a month I'm feeling really strong I feel like you can't see too crazy results but everything feels so much tighter I have so much energy I've found like such a crazy love for the gym it's part of my favorite part of the day so after my hip thrust I did split squats and that just sent me over the edge because my booty is on fire. I could barely walk up the stairs, but I definitely have been getting some booty gains. Like, just like a little bit. Like, maybe not even noticeable yet, but yeah. She's definitely getting like rounder, bigger. Summer bod coming soon. <laughs> Let's talk and show some good results here. So first off, I have to show you guys this because I'm so proud of it. This has been the past five-ish, six-ish weeks of working out, especially once you get into that March. Tomorrow's the 31st and it's completely full. You can tell what day my rest days are, but still getting a lot of calories burned. Um, and this is just the results from my Apple Watch. So every single day I've been completing or getting really close to completing all of my rings. Let me show you guys uh, kind of a picture I've been using to show the last month. So here is like from the back, it looks really nice and like tighter, it feels better. And then from the front, kind of same thing. And then just so you guys know, I wrote down all of my measurements. 
So over the last month on my waist, I've lost about an inch and a half. And then on my hips, I've lost about two inches. Everything else is kind of about the same, but I am lifting heavy weights. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know how this is gonna work. But like I said, at this point, I'm doing it for the actual health aspects and not the physique, but the physique will come eventually. And then I've lost, well, my weight fluctuates a lot, around like four pounds. And I just want to give you guys some advice, some stuff that has been working really well for me this past month. So first thing is staying hydrated. I try to drink one of these every day, but I'm also not so strict on myself. I used to feel so guilty the next day if I had like that much water left because I'd go to bed thinking, hmm, I want to have a little water to drink overnight and then I wouldn't drink it. And I'd feel so guilty, but it's like the goal isn't like, make sure you drink this much, make sure you, uh, no, it's to become healthier. So I try to drink one of these every day. Next is being consistent. Being consistent is the biggest advice anyone can give you when it comes to fitness. So so whatever schedule works for you, pick it and stay consistent. I love lifting weights, but I also know that cardio is important. So I mostly lift weights, but every once in a while, I'll go for a little run, do a little HIIT workout, um, and then I warm up on the bike for like five minutes every day. So balance. I go six days a week just because I found such a love for the gym and I have a gym buddy. So when I don't want to go, she does and she makes me go. So that's good. Finding someone to hold you accountable will help a ton. I would also suggest, maybe not for everyone, but it works for me, counting your calories, at least at the beginning, so you get a good idea of what exactly you're eating. Cause I didn't understand like how many calories are in some of the foods I was eating. And now I don't even necessarily have to calculate every single calorie like I did the first couple weeks because I have a general idea of how much I can eat in a day. And this will change depending on what your goals are for your fitness journey, but I'm trying to like lose weight and gain muscle. So I'm trying to eat a lot of protein and be in a calorie deficit. Sleep is also really important. Getting at least like seven to eight hours of sleep will help a lot. You need to be energized and ready to go to the gym. Um, I started drinking pre-workout and that actually helps so much because I get to the gym and I'm like on some sort of like high and I'm just like boom, 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 boom. And I bust it out and I feel so good. I burn a ton of calories, lift a ton of weights and it feels amazing. And honestly guys, the most important thing I can really say is to be patient with yourself. This is only the first like month and this is the most I've felt committed to this. And this is also the longest I've ever done it because it's been more like five-ish weeks. I think I'm on week six of like actually working out because I started in February technically, but I wasn't watching what I ate. Anyways, staying consistent and being patient, you're gonna see results. So yeah, there might not be a huge, crazy, drastic results in 30 days, but why would there be? It's only 30 days. So I am excited to see what the results are a year from now, or even at the end of summer, or even after 90 days. And I'm being super patient with myself. Um, try to take the pressure off of like how you look. I would highly suggest taking before and after pictures. I don't have like one really awesome before picture and I wish I would have taken one, but they help you see even just like the smallest differences. And so does getting your measurements. Even when you're like, oh, I don't look that different. Your measurements will tell you otherwise and your pictures will tell you otherwise but don't obsess over it this is supposed to make you healthier not obsessive over fitness and that is something that i've had to learn this past month enjoy the journey don't just look to the end result don't set like an end date for yourself just stay consistent and be patient i definitely feel so much stronger even if i don't look a crazy difference i don't know if you guys can see a difference or not um i feel like there is a big difference like in my face and just like everything feels tighter and then now it's time for like you know the fat to start shutting off so i'm definitely excited to push through these next couple months and just make this a part of my life because I love it. I love this routine I'm in. I love how I feel and I don't ever want to stop. And every time I end one of these fitness videos, I like try to do everything so quick. How much weight can I lose in 30 days? How big of a difference can I see in 30 days? But this time I'm being so slow and just like enjoying the journey and learning and trying to make it an actual lifestyle change. And this is probably the first time ever that I'm actually succeeding at that and wanting to push through past just 30 days. So this is like part one of multiple parts. I'm probably gonna do a 60 day update, a 90 day update, and then a year update or something like that, or maybe after summer, six months maybe, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of watching me go through this journey in the past 30 days. I post a lot about it on Instagram. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll post a lot of my actual workouts on TikTok. Both usernames are Sid Francis, and I'll have them in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.